dear students assalamu alaikum today in this lecture video i shall discuss about enzymes enzymes are catalysts which increase the rate of a reaction by changing the way a reaction takes place but it itself not changed at the end of the reaction an uncatalyzed reaction in a cell may take place eventually but not at a rate fast enough for survival for example the hydrolysis of proteins in our diet would eventually occur without a catalyst but not fast enough to meet the body's requirements for amino acids the chemical reactions in our cells must occur at incredibly faster rates under the mild conditions of ph 7.4 and a body temperature of 37 degree centigrade to do this biological catalysts known as enzymes catalyze nearly all the chemical reactions that take place in the body enzymes are proteins as catalysts enzyme lowers the activation energy of the reaction activation energy is the minimum energy necessary to cause a chemical reaction to occur as a result less energy is required to convert reactant molecules to products which allows more reacting molecules to form products in every chemical reaction the reacting substances has to come in contact with each other that is they have to pass through a transition state in transition state the energy of the reaction mixture is high until the reacting molecules do not get this energy they will not form products this highest energy is the activation energy for this reaction the vast majority of all known enzymes are globular proteins however proteins are not the only biological catalyst most of the enzymes are extremely specific that is they catalyze specific reactions some enzymes are localized according to the need for specific reaction for example digestive enzymes which catalyze the hydrolysis of proteins are located in the secretions of the stomach and pancreas names of enzymes the names of enzymes describe the compound or the reaction that is catalyzed by that enzyme the actual names of enzymes are derived by replacing the end of the name of the reaction or reacting compounds with the suffix ac for example an oxidase catalyzes an oxidation reaction and a dehydrogenase removes hydrogen atoms the compounds amylose is hydrolyzed by the enzyme amylase and a lipid is hydrolyzed by lipase some early known enzymes use names that end in the suffix in such as papain which is found in papaya renin which is found in milk and pepsin and trypsin enzymes that catalyze the hydrolysis of proteins there are six classes of enzyme oxidoreductase transferase hydrolase lyase isomerase and ligase oxidoreductase enzyme catalyze oxidation reduction reaction transferase enzyme transfer a group between two compound hydrolase catalyze 
hydrolysis reaction. Lyase add or remove groups involving a double bond without hydrolysis. Isomer, isomerase rearrange atoms in a molecule to form a isomer. Ligase form bonds between molecules using energy. Now about the action of enzyme. Nearly enzymes are globular proteins. Each enzyme has a unique three-dimensional shape that recognizes and binds a small group of reacting molecules which are called substrates. The tertiary structure of an enzyme plays an important role in how that enzyme catalyzes reactions. In a catalyzed reaction, an enzyme must first bind to a substrate in a way that favors catalysis. A typical enzyme is much larger than its substrate. However, within its large tertiary structure, there is a region called the active site, where the enzyme binds a substrate or substrates and catalyzes the reaction. The active site is often a small pocket that closely fits the structure of the substrate. Within the active site, the side chain of amino acids bind the substrate with hydrogen bonds solubles or hydrophobic attractions. The active site of a particular enzyme fits the shape of only a few types of substrates, which makes enzymes very specific about the type of substrate they bind. Enzyme Catalyzed Reaction the proper alignment of a substrate within the active site forms an enzyme substrate complex that is known as ES complex. This combination of enzyme and substrate provides an alternative pathway for the reaction that has a lower activation energy. Within this active site, the amino acid side chains take part in catalyzing the chemical reaction. As soon as the catalyzed reaction is complete, the products are quickly released from the enzyme. So it can bind to a new substrate molecule. We can write the catalyzed reaction of an enzyme with a substrate to form products like this. Here E for enzyme and S for substrate. Enzyme and substrates bind each other in the active site to form a complex which is known as ES complex. After the completion of the catalyzed reaction, the substrate is converted to product and enzymes remain unchanged that is it is free. It can bind another substrate molecule. So to get product in an enzyme catalyzed reaction first it has to form ES complex. Without the formation of ES complex it is not possible to get the product. There are two models for formation of ES complex. The first model is lock and key model. In this theory, the active site of an enzyme is described as having a rigid, non-flexible shape. Thus, only those substrates with 
shape that fit exactly into the active site are able to bind with enzyme. The shape of the active site is analogous to lock and the proper substrate is the key that fits into the lock and form the ES complex. This model is too restrictive. Enzyme molecules are in a dynamic state, not a static one. There are constant motions within them so that active side has some flexibility. Also, if the fit between substrate and active site is perfect, there would be no reason for the reaction to occur as the enzyme substrate complex would be too stable. From X-ray diffraction, we know that the size and shape of the active site cavity change when the substrate enters. The other model for the formation of ES complex is induced fit model. In the induced fit model, enzyme structure is flexible, not rigid. There is an interaction between both the enzyme and substrate. The active site adjusts to fit the shape of the substrate more closely. At the same time, the substrate adjusts its shape to better adapt to the geometry of the active site. As a result, the reacting section of the substrate becomes aligned exactly with the group in the active site that catalyze the reaction and they form the complete ES complex. A different substrate could not induce these structural changes and no catalysis would occur. That's all for today. In the next lecture video, I shall discuss about the remaining portion. If you like my lecture video, then don't forget to click the like button. You can also share this video to your friends and can also put your comments. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Your subscription will encourage me to make more lecture video for you all. Thank you.